No, oh, look at that intro. I figured out what was wrong. I am the best. The intro is fixed. Yes. Yes. Hey, Sharsa. What's up? That's key. I am the best. I am. I, at this very moment, there's no one better than me. Oh, fuck. So good. Proud. Thank you. Thank you, Bjorn. Oh, well, you're welcome. You're really good. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Stroke of brilliance. Hey, Zelin. How's it going? What a feeling, indeed. <laughs> Still the best last you checked. Oh, jeez. So how how is everyone doing? It's Happy Friday. Weekend is upon us. Tomorrow we're gonna have the screening of that lecture. Hopefully it will all go as planned. I did try to check if you could do sub only, and it seems to be working. And for those who are not uh, subscribing they will get like a five minute sneak peek of the stream at where they can choose to subscribe i think i think i don't know i don't know hopefully it'll work hey frenchy frencha how are you How art thou? Right. What should I draw? Please give me a topic. Let's go with monster. Let's 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 stay in the monster category. Soul warden. Soul warden. Oh fire. <laughs> hey Amir, how's it going? So more or less one day and twelve hours. More or less, you can see it on the timer up there. At Saturday, 8 p.m. UK time. Oh yeah, and then on Sunday, 8 p.m. Or should I do Sunday? 8 a.m. <laughs> now, let's do Sunday, 8 p.m. Is um, kick off. I've always done Sunday, 8 p.m., right? For Unreal Ornament 1 and 2. Right, so we've got Soul Warden. Van Vampire Dwarf, Nightmare Fairy, Ooh. Harbinger of Darkness, <sighs> Cursed Lion, cool, one, two, three, four, five, all right, let's roll the dice, and if it's six, it's my choice, unless someone throws in a six now, four, oh, you can't see it, you see? Proof, number four, you see? I'm not lying, it's the truth, number four. Cyberpunk Warden, all right, cool. Uh, so number four is one, two, three, four. Harbinger of Darkness. All right. Harbinger of Darkness. <laughs> Are you happy now? <laughs> I need to though, before I start, define Harbinger. That is like the keeper, right? right? A person or thing that announces or signals the approach of another. Okay. 
So the war the canary in the in the mine of darkness, more or less. Hey Vale. Vale, how's it going? Is that sweet, sweet Friday beer doing its magic? <laughs> okay. okay, let's start the timer. Harbinger of darkness, so it's like the siren of darkness. Okay, what if I saw a, a signal horn, but let's make a signal horn into a monster, which then I, in my mind was like a tied person screaming, which is like, what? was that how oh, that's not really interesting what if then we play with the idea of multiple people with heads popping up and it's like a a growth maybe one idea was like a snake like a hydra but that's more like fighting what if it's a that's gonna not gonna look cool what if it's like a a, a bird with mo oh, uh. all right all right i got i got a picture in my head hey miguel how's it going travis how's it going all right so the picture in my mind is as follows i played around with the idea of bird whatever whatever so in the end it's like a a bat that's on its uh, wings and and it has like um eyeballs or or mouths heads let's go with heads and it has this kind of hunched over feeling, multiple, uh, let's say, multiple arms like that. So the idea is, is it comes to to scream uh, that darkness is coming. So that's kind of what I saw in my mind, right? After after playing with the with the idea, mental exercise of of going through options instead of thumbnailing, I'm thumbnailing in my mind like a true professional. And I'm finished. Next. <laughs> what if we have like a main head instead of just having it split around multiple heads? Uh, I mean, that would that was cool too. But let's give it a main character, uh, you know, a main focal point instead of just being split between heads, and then we can kind of have multiple heads I think that would be would be nasty hey pro 42 how's it going good morning so there's a lot of things happening this weekend Saturday 8 p.m. screening of my latest lecture how to art direct thyself <laughs> um, for subscribers on the channel uh, following Sunday 8 p.m. UK time will be round one kickoff. I choose to do it on a Sunday at the end of a Sunday because the deadline will be at the end of a Sunday, which means you'll have the weekend at the end to push. 
rather than let's say Friday 8 p.m. will give you the weekend to start. And I think it's better to have the weekend at the end to push, you know, give you time to, to do, a, you know, a mad run rather than, you know, start off with uh, a lot of time. Because time management, I know everyone sucks at time management. So this way you can you can keep uh, procrastinating. <laughs> Hefez bro. Bjorn is hungry. The beast demands it. So that's, I'm super excited about the fact that uh, Unreal Bjornament is starting this Sunday. It's going to be very cool. I can't wait for uh, from two weeks from now when we start seeing all the, uh, all the entries. I think that's my favorite. That's my favorite part of Unreal Bjornament is seeing everyone's um, final pieces. I think that's really, really the almost the highlight. And who won, who lost. Um, that's also really cool. And Sunday at 8 p.m. you will um, see who you're up against and for those who can't make it at sunday 8 p.m obviously um, i will talk about it on uh, monday study monday so you'll see it uh, anyways you know, 12 hours later so no need to panic really you know Travis Art, so what will you mainly talk about for the how to art direct yourself? Um, the talk was about um, the talk was about I'm going from um, basic design principles, explaining what is required to do a good design, um, breaking it down to like digestible chunks. And then I take the next step, above, go above that, is where there's theory involved, right? And then the next step above, above that is uh, art direction. Um, and I layer information up like that, right? So even though you're uh, talking about art direction, you're going to have to think about all the steps previously, which I've talked about. So it's about, um, it's like... Um, it's not a singular answer to how to art direct, but it's a way of explaining to you a way that you can start understanding art direction and directing your own art and directing your own designs and flavor and art in a way where it's extremely adaptive and you can apply it to whatever you want to apply it to, right? rather than telling you how to draw a robot you can with the information in the lecture you can decide yourself to what extent you know tick the boxes of uh, you know why it looks a certain way or why it doesn't and so on and so forth Uh, remarkably lame. Yeah, it is a one a year, once a year. It's an annual art competition. Usually, it lasts five months, so that's why I can't do it more than once a year. Um, it's starting on Wednesday, and the sign up has been announced. But uh, sign up, we got we filled the hundred people in two days, so it's it's a, it was a case of you snooze, you lose. 
Uh, I did try to uh, warn people about it and prepare people about it. I think I uh, might have done it a little bit too well because, yeah, like I said, all the spots got taken in two days. Remarkably. Yeah, do it. Do it. I think it's a great... It's a great... Um, great way to up your game when you compete against other artists and you know it's for real and it has defined rules and it comes down to interpretation and implementation over uh, a little bit more abstract you know of saying oh I'm a fantasy artist you you and you draw robots uh, who's better now it's a little bit more tangible because you're gonna be pitted up against each other and there's a body of judges that will judge on, uh, you know, e execution and, and, and interpretation of the theme and time management and all these things, right? And design. And so it's a really cool way of, of realizing uh, that you need to hone, hone your, your skill set and apply. Apply them, you know? Like I've mentioned on my stream many times, it's not, it's about doing your studies, it's about learning your trade, but, but you also have to apply it. You also have to make sure that you're not just doing studies. You also have to try to finish something that's creative, uh, your own, um, where you implement all the things you learn. And you'll see that when people that join the competition and when they actually have to do something that's beyond studies or beyond learning uh, or beyond just randomly sketching the the, the need for them to Im apply themselves will will launch them forward dramatically and you can see that every year people joining round one is mm, it's okay round five they're they're ninjas you know They're, they're, they're sneaky assassins from, from uh, cadets to killers. Atsuki, last year wasn't your favorite? Oh, Jesus. Harsh words. Hey, goblin weirdo. Well, thank you. Thank you for being here and making it worth its while. Can we bet money on some challengers? <laughs> Captain Boss, how's it going? Good morning. Officially, no. But I don't. I can't say what you do be behind closed doors. <laughs> but according to me, you, on, on on publicly, no. Amir, I w I didn't say it, but obviously. <coughs> PayPal. <coughs> what? No. Captain, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. One percent better. So that's how that one percent works. I get it. I get it. Okay. <laughs> Travis, yeah, I know, right? I mean, I'm not a crook or anything.
we're over with time. We're halfway. Oh, interesting. Okay. Let's go color. Let's quickly throw on some. Red looks pretty cool. Okay. Red, green. That's a never a beautiful co combo. Sick green and red. That could look quite evil. Yeah, look at that. That gray already turned red, even though it's it's still just gray. That's pretty cool. That's dynamic. Dynamic grays right there. Or what's it called? Magic grays? No, they're called dynamic grays, aren't they? Do I want that there or there? I want the contrast. Let's do it like that. Switch it down a bit and then wash it all with red on overlay. Will that do funny stuff? What the? F wow, my eyes. A bit too, <laughs> a bit too saturated. Probably. I don't know. That looks kind of cool as a base. All right. Then let's take um, let's take a purple, and let's do a gradient, and then we do a burn. Reduce the fill until we get a cool. Yeah, there we go. And then we reduce opacity. Should I flip it around? Probably. I want to focus at the head. Mm. Yeah, Tales from the Loop looks fantastic. I must say. And then we do uh, curves again. get some of that red under control did that help or ruin A little bit of both. Let's reintroduce the red. But I want it like at the terminator kind of. Like an accent. times 10 minutes okay this color treatment took five minutes mm. a bit longer than I wanted let's go oh man I can't see anything the light is in my eyes hey good morning morphia morphia morphia
how are you? <laughs> yeah, I can't help it. My mind con instantly goes to more fire. It is what it is. Okay, let's try overlay. And I want to try to turn that maybe blue overlay in the... Nah. I'm going to use blue, but I'm going to color shift it. I just wanted to break purple kind of looked cool. Let's do color dodge. Color dodge with that red. So to reiterate, tomorrow at 8 p.m. lecture for subscribers. Uh, Sunday at 8 p.m kickoff of um, Unreal Bournemouth, round one. Eric Ricky, if I watched my own lecture, I haven't yet, no. <clears throat> I know that lecture by heart and I've practiced it so I know I know what what I'm saying. And there's always this cringe aspect to it, seeing yourself talk. I am gonna sit in with you guys, so I won't I will I will have my mic off. So to, to stop myself from um, commenting, uh, but I, I need to be there in order for, you know, for to know when it ends, if there's any difficulties or, or there's some, some, some weird things happening. Um, but I mean, I'm talking on camera every day I'm, and I'm listening in on the YouTube now and then to make sure that uh, tech wise, it's where it needs to be. So, I mean, I, I'm no stranger to, to hearing my idiotic self mumble. Hey, Gria, how's it going? Uh, the lecture is, um, yeah, one day and 10 hours from now. So it's 8 p.m., as you can see, 8 p.m. UK time tomorrow, Saturday. Captain Bows, half exactly, half naked. Psst. Come on, fully naked with wash, you know, uh, washing gloves on. In the bathtub. With bolognese sauce, and practicing the speech. Gria, it could be perfect timing. It's for all those, um, for all you lonely people <laughs> that don't go outside. Oh, yeah. Hey, Travis, thanks for that uh, sub, man. Much appreciated. Oh, thank you. Man, today is a mess. It is a very sketchy, hot mess. But what don't you get if you don't experiment? It is so important to experiment. So today, my drawing isn't really where I want it to be, but that's OK. It's way too undefined, way too much subtleties in shadows, which breaks the valley range. If I would boost the contrast, 
too much will be, would be lost so I'm a little bit I I based it on a flawed base I would I need, would have needed to push the contrast a little bit more in order for it to be uh, read better Vaseline from head to tippy toe. Yeah, exactly. Dr. Disrespect. Veil. <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming it's 2 p.m. Uh, 2 a.m. now for you. That's a little bit annoying for Americans. Uh, my morning stream. Um, but it is what it is, you know. My morning stream is because I work in Europe. And it's uh, the first thing we do in the morning, unfortunately. Unfortunately for you Americans. America! Let's do something with the colors. Hopefully, oh, that looks, it always looks so cool. That looks way more scarier then I think it's too much happy happy yellow what if we do a little bit of, of that yeah I like that that looks way more menacing way more sickly it's Pumba what up where's Timon Canadian. Oh. oh, that's cool, Korea. That's cool. Perfect. Have a beer. Take notes. You're in Europe? Oh, yeah, that's that's good. I mean, 8 p.m. U, U, UK is is what early. That's like ten in the morning in you know in West Coast. Not sure. <laughs> Paw Patrol. That's some strong psyche you got there, Gria. Don't fall asleep. <laughs> or burst into tears. Yeah, France is, is plus one, right? Minus one. Plus one. Plus one. You're in Australia? Travis, you're the future. Miguel, sure, sure, European Union, but location-wise. <laughs> v 
veil. All right, that's cool. That's cool. That's not too bad, 1 p.m. Oh, you mean 8, 1 a.m. or 1 p.m.? That's like midday. Veil. Oh, that's pretty cool. I mean, if you want to, you can join the Discord. Um, the Discord people will, will help you constantly, and I will help you constantly on Discord. I'd say Discord is the most active part of this community. There's a lot of things happening on the Discord. So I recommend it. You're just an mega lurker. All right, that's cool. Pumba, that's cool. That's great. That's good stuff, man. For those who don't know and are in the chat, you can do this. Or the link is underneath the stream or in YouTube links on the archive. So you can click it and join it if you want. It's a little nugget of gold. <laughs> All right, so that's what my hot mess ended up looking like. I'm not r truly thoroughly happy with it. it it's lacking, lacking that punch that makes you go, oh, what's this? But I'd say it's cool enough in my mind to go, oh, maybe I should finish this. This could look cool in the end. Hey, Brendan. Well, thank you. Needs more teeth, for sure. Needs more fidelity. It's very rough, but I, I kind of like it regardless. It's a fun, fun sketch. It has a lot of pro promise. I like the idea of a, like a central design. Um, anyways, Harbinger of Darkness. Thanks for that suggestion. Um, so to, to reiterate, tomorrow, Saturday, 8 p.m. UK time, lecture, lecture talk for subscribers. 8 p.m. Sunday, kickoff of round one with theme and pairing. Uh, so don't miss that. If you miss it, it's okay, don't worry. It'll be online on, on um, YouTube archive and also post about it on the forum, uh, Firestarter forum, link underneath. Uh, also on Discord, so you, you can't miss it. Pressure Frencher, yeah. <laughs> Why not? Right, let's find. Um, do I have anyone online that I can raid? Oh no. Thanks for the host, Monori Rogue. Um, hello everyone, but we are actually passing on the gauntlet to someone else because my warm-up is finished. Sadly, we have to move on. I'm looking for someone that we can raid. Someone doing a study. Mm. Mm. No. Someone doing someone doing um comic, I think. Ink work. 
Hello everyone. Too bad we have to to pass the gauntlet on to another streamer. I have to get to work. I have to design some cool shit for Triple A games. Um, we're gonna raid someone called Zinilus doing like cart co comic style ink things. Usually quite cool, like manga West. Co cartoon comic uh, mashup. Um, see you Saturday night for subscribers. Gonna do my lecture Sunday eight night uh, eight p.m. UK time. Uh, kickoff of round one. So don't miss it. Have a good one. Out of time. Good night if you are you know in the America. Have a great day if you're in Europe. Happy Friday. Have a good one. Toodles, everyone. <laughs>